What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial today I am going to show you how to make a plant grow with time It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need So you can check it out right now through the link in the description Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is create a new blueprint. Now, if you already have a new blueprint, you can use that one. But in my case, let me just go and create a new actor because it will be placed in the world. Let's name this something as BP underscore plant and let's open this up. When it loads, of course. There we go, open it up. Good. So the first thing that I am going to do is add a new static mesh, which will be the plant mesh itself. Now, in my case, I have this incredible rainforest pack, which, you know, I have used in a lot of videos. And if I go to meshes, go to plants, I can see that I have uh, this one, which looks pretty cool. So I'm going to drag into static mesh and boom, here we have this really nice looking plant. So I can now compile, save and just drag it into the world on here and there we go so right now it is at normal size you know nothing crazy and it just you know as i plant okay i can go ahead and just press play uh in simulation mode so my character doesn't spawn and it's just you know standing there still so what we need to do now is go ahead and just change the size over time and there are a lot of ways to do this but in our case what we're going to do is use a timeline. So if we go to the events graph, I can delete this node, except begin play. And let me just right click and create another custom event, which will be something as grow plant. Okay. There we go grow plant. So when we call this grow plant, which will be called at the begin play, what we're going to be doing is create a new timeline. So we're going to do add timeline. And now with this timeline, we can, you know, uh interpolate between values over time in this case the values will be the uh, plant's size so this will be something as uh plant growth timeline and what we're going to do is put this on uh, you know display double click to open this timeline up so the first thing that we need to do is you know set the length how fast will this plant grow in this case, because it is a tutorial and example, let's leave it at, you know, five seconds. So you just quickly see how the plant grows, but you could put this to, you know, 10 seconds. You could put it to, uh, you know, 120 seconds and so on, depending on your, you know, case. But for the tutorial, let me leave it at five seconds. And then we need to create a new track. In this case, we want to create a new float track because we're going to be using this float to change the uh, scale okay now what will this float track be called it will be basically the uh, plant scale okay and now what we can do is just right click to add a new keyframe and put this first one to be when the time is zero and value is zero and then right click at any point in the timeline and it will create a new you know keyframe i'm gonna put the time at the end right well, in this case it is five when the timeline will finish and then the value to one so it will go from a value of zero to one but that's not necessarily the scale okay um it will be a bit different because we're going to use this value as an alpha to interpolate between other values so we click this two buttons we can see you have you know this simple graph of course you could create kind of a curve and so on but let's keep it simple but now if we go back to the main event graph on the uh, you know timeline node we have this output which is the plant scale so i can now get the plant mesh and then set the scale of the plant in this case let's use the relative scale so it'll be you know using the uh, local transform in our blueprint and you can see that we have these values well what we can do is just right click and split it and now we have flows and of course we can connect this to here but the thing is that this will go from zero to one but maybe our plant you know wants to go a bit bigger maybe like until five so how do we do this well what we can do is drag from here and do a lerp float which is here and now I can just hold control and move this to the alpha. So now I can transition from this size, which can be, for example, 0.2, and then to this size, which is 5. 
and now I can just put all of this into the new scale and basically it will go from this alpha from 0 to 1 from this alpha uh, sorry a value of a to b so now you will see that when I go ahead and press play without saving the level you can see that now boom the plant goes ahead and grows massively until 5 and of course maybe that was too fast even for the video so let me change this to be maybe 15 but remember to also select the last keyframe and put the value to be at 15 on time very important make sure to update also the keyframe because if not nothing really will update and then you can see that we have this here now let me also just add a bit of delay at the beginning right so we have a bit of time to kind of uh, see the you know plant size and then i am also going to go ahead and when the game starts before growing the plant set the relative scale of the plant to basically start to be 0.2 okay so let me put everything at 0.2 connect this and our plant will begin being like this and boom it goes and of, oh sorry of course this has to be before the delay <laughs> if not it will kind of make the plant small after and now we want it to be at the start and let me also put this you know a bit up here and boom the plant is there and after you know one second it starts growing and it will last i think i said 15 seconds and if we wait as you can see the plant basically goes ahead and grows until the final size which is five cool <laughs> and it will say like that and of course if you do like a curve in the timeline with more keyframes it will basically look a bit better but in this case you know it looks pretty cool so that's it guys i found this so helpful i would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel remember they have full access to the project files through patreon or youtube members uh also check out my uh, discord server link in the description where you can talk with me and other devs uh check out my new course with game dev tv on how to make a stealth game in unreal follow me on my socials and now yes with all that said bye bye